through the chain of biofiltration. Nitrifying bacteria nitrifies nitrile into nitrate. In the fish tank, it can remove the nitrate by biological reaction or chemical decomposition. In the small fish tank, decomposed nitrate by chemical reaction has higher efficiencies. Aquarium shops have some chemical solutions for nitrate removal. Use it every day. The chemical compounds we add with the nitrate in the seawater and decompose the nitrate. The usage is very simple and has no side effect to fishes. Although the price of such chemical solution is quite expensive, small dose is required to use for small fish tank. If not giving you much economic pressure, it's worth to use. During this decomposition of nitrate, much very tiny granular matter is produced and suspends in water. A good potent skimmer must be equipped to separate such solid from the water. If there is any inverted base in the fish tank, ensure to understand its living habit before use the solution. Some inverted base may overreact to the solution. While it has any abnormal situation, you need to distinguish the cause of it so as to decide to stop using the solution or not. To saving money to use expensive solution periodically, it may apply the biological filtration. By building the deep sand bed to remove nitrate. The minimum thickness of the deep sand bed requires 10 cm. At the very beginning, nitrifying bacteria living at the surface of the sand bed contest the oxygen in the water. They nitrify ammonia and nitrile. Further, we produce the nitrifying bacteria moves downward the sand bed. At this moment, if there is any sand warm movement in the sand bed, it accelerates the water exchange between upper layer and lower layer of the deep sand bed. The water in the upper layer sand bed went through the nitrification. It brings little amount of oxygen, ammonia and nitrile, but large amount of nitrate to lower layer of the sand bed. In addition, the sand worms consume oxygen in the sand bed. The lower layer of the sand bed becomes low oxygen area. New reproduced nitrifying bacteria moved in here is weakened to do any nitrification and reproduction. At this low oxygen area, an aerobic bacteria has chance to denitrify nitrate into nitrogen and to reproduce themselves. Along with the movement of sandworms, the non-toxic water in the lower layer sand bed moves upward the sand bed and further back into the fish tank. Lower layer of the deep sand bed, more denitrification and reproduction opportunity of anaerobic bacteria. Down to sand bed layer deeper than 15 cm, the area is lack of any oxygen and seldom has any warmth movement. Water exchange between sand bed layers rarely happen over there. Therefore, further deeper of the sand bed doesn't provide better biological filtration performance accordingly. Conversely, lack of any water movement and oxygen may cause some poisonous black color solid formation. According to the quantity of creatures and fish tank height, the deep sand bed thickness should be between 10 to 15 cm. Before building the deep sand bed, place some 2.5 cm height pillars at the bottom of the fish tank. Then, 
put a plastic grid frame on the pillars. Cover the frame with a layer of plastic net. Put a piece of solid light bio rock on the net as the origin of anaerobic bacteria and sandworms. Cover the net with a 5 to 8 cm thickness sand bed, which is made of large sand, around 2 mm in diameter. Few aquarium shops have cell of some little white color bean or brown color powder. Mix them into the lower large sand bed layer as catalyst of anaerobic bacteria. Next, cover with another 5 to 8 cm of thickness sand bed, which is made of small sand, around 1 mm in diameter. In such arrangement, the dense upper sand bed layer provides much more surface area. Nitrifying bacteria occupied less sand bed area to reproduce to sufficient quantity to consume oxygen in water flowed into the sand bed. The lower sand bed layer in sparse structure makes water movement much easier within the sand bed. It accelerates the anaerobic bacteria reproduction. The room spacing by using pillars to rise whole deep sand bed from the bottom of the fish tank is called water filling layer. While any water movement happens in the very bottom of the sand bed, the water filling layer may get little oxygen supplement. Oxygen spreads in the water filling layer and contacts corners of the sand bed bottom. Such little oxygen supplements to the sand bed from bottom can prevent any occurrence of absolute oxygen lacking area in the very deep layer of the sand bed. It prevents any black poisonous solid compound formation. When the deep sand bed rises, it contains much anaerobic bacteria as well as nitrifying bacteria. No any cleaning maintenance is required for the deep sand bed. But at the beginning, there are few sand worms and water exchange activity in the sand bed. It requires a very long time to foster. Generally, initial effects can only be observed after two to three months. And at the beginning, it is necessary to put in good quality of bio rocks to spark reproduction of anaerobic bacteria and sand worms. The deep sand bed occupies 10 to 15 cm height of fish tank that decreases quite large area of a small fish tank. Therefore, if a beginner treats the small tank as a transitional tank and will change to use a large fish tank after, grabs the basic knowledge of marine aquarium. I don't suggest to use the deep sand bed. Conversely, if your small fish tank is a long-term installation and you have enough patience to keep few fishes for quite a long time since beginning, you may consider to use the deep sand bed to remove nitrate from the water. In this episode, I will introduce how to open a fish tank step by step. Press subscribe for next episode showtime.